you know, I've just had a, a video request for what happens when your water level goes down. Now, the main reason why your water level would go down is due to evaporation. If you have a normal aquarium and the water goes down and there's no sign of water on the floor, then you can very safely assume that the tank has evaporated and you may be amazed how quickly the tank will evaporate. Now, if you have a sump aquarium, therefore an aquarium that's got a sump filter down the bottom, then you will not notice the evaporation from the top. You will notice it from the bottom. So therefore your sump level will go down and that is due to evaporation. The other reason why your sump level may go down is if you have a leak in your plumbing or a leak in your tank in which if you survey around the tank you should easily be able to see a little puddle in which you're in all sorts of trouble and it's time to actually fix it. Now the other reason why you may think that your tank has gone down particularly if you have a sump is because your pump may need cleaning. The impeller in the pump needs to be cleaned on a regular basis otherwise if the grime that builds up around the magnet will stop the um, efficiency of the magnet and how easily that impeller can turn therefore the water will no longer get pumped up to the top so therefore you may see in your water line in the tank that the um, tank level will sit lower therefore the sump level will sit higher if you clean your pump out you should then find the water freely comes to the top so therefore your tank level will raise and your sump level will reduce the only other thing that can affect your water level is the outlet pipes so the pipe that sends the water back down into the sump if that gets clogged up for any sort of reason then that may cause the the water level in the aquarium to actually raise so anyway there's just a few reasons why your water level may vary